all right guys welcome to another reaction video on my channel today we are once again watching mad rose um this time however it was a suggestion from one of you guys here you can see the original comment um the video that we are going to be watching is called customer service brain rod i'm not sure if it's the exact same what uh one that was recommended here did not find customer support brain rod maybe i'm just an idiot and missed it but i think this is the video that was suggested um he also has a second video on this series apparently so looks like the people enjoyed it um yeah as always link to the original video is in the description check him out show him some love and let's go brain rot and as someone who spent a summer wait 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 I meant to ask from the a beginning table of customers please. you guys need anything but instead i stood there and went you geese these sorts of stories that's that's a real brain fart moment have become known for as sure. customer service brain rot and as someone who spent a summer selling so like no let, let, let's let's, let's let, i'm gonna shut up and let him explain maybe he's just gonna explain what i'm asking and hot dogs i can confirm that condition's all too real At on maybe not like the the brain rot part i'm guessing it it refers to brain rot from the ones doing customer service themselves right because when i read the title my thought was um like basically stories that people in the customer service industry have to share about people just saying dumb shit but looks like it's the other way it looks like it's they who are saying the dumb shit and they're sharing their stories but it sounds fun regardless. It's it's, currently doing let's a great see. job of collating these. Do follow them if you like. But with all things in life, they are drastically improved by being read out by a middle-aged British man. Absolutely, absolutely. I work at Taco Bell, and instead of calling out a name once, I just yelled, Beefy! I once... <laughs> I mean, if they understand what you meant by it, or who you meant by it, as long as it works, it works. I tried to say, I'll have those boneless wings shortly for you, and confidently looked him in the eye and said, I'll be right back with your bones. Wait, you... Okay, I think as a customer, I would be a little bit concerned. Not just for that sentence, I'll be right back with your bones, but also I ordered boneless wings and now you're gonna bring bones? Back with your bones. A customer asked That's gonna be confusing. Cocktails and I said no, we only have wine and beer. This guy Let me move out of the way real quick so you guys can see the whole thing. Maybe you will understand it more than me, because... I don't completely get it, if I'm being honest. We only have wine and beer. Well, it is alcohol, but it's not a cocktail, right? I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm missing something. Is a shrimp cocktail wine and beer? Like my alcohol knowledge? despite the fact that I'm German, is not particularly broad. Maybe you guys can enlighten me. Maybe I'm missing something here. Wine and beer. This guy asked what type of fish we have, but I heard dish as in the plate. So I said, a rectangle? Smiling face with smiling eyes emoji. Once asked for someone's umbilical. A rectangle fish. Now, I'm not a big fish guy, but if I heard that they have rectangle fish, I would be a little intrigued. Called instead of their unlimited card.
what the f I mean, the words look similar. And I guess they also are pronounced similar, but it's like... That must have been such a weird exchange. Just him hearing that and thinking to himself, like, what the hell is this woman on about? Um, yeah, that is probably one of those awkward exchange that both of you will not forget anytime soon. Analog skeptical face emoji. I once answered the phone with how can I speak rather than how can I help you? And the man said with your mouth. I Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> okay that is that is pretty funny i mean in my in my job maybe not quite as much in my job now but more like back in the day during my apprenticeship i had to do like or take a lot of phone calls as well and if like, if you're taking your 50 plus phone calls a day, you are going to reach a point where your brain is just on like autopilot and you're just blabbering something. And then it can happen and you just say something absolutely idiotic and only like a couple seconds later on realize, wait, what the hell did I just say? And then you can just only hope that they didn't notice. But if they did notice, well, you just kind of have to distract them from the awkwardness a little bit. It did happen for me a couple of times. But you learn and you get better, I guess. But stuff like that just happens. Then he laughed at a lady over the phone because she told me she was allergic to Swiss cheese. I work at a place. Wait, is she only allergic to Swiss cheese and not no, like, oh, okay, I was about to say normal cheese, but what is normal cheese? How do you define, how do you define normal cheese? Um, is Swiss cheese the only kind of cheese she's allergic to? Are the other ones fine? Because if she's like allergic to cheese, to cheese in general, I'd say, okay. But if it's only like a very specific type of cheese, that's. That's weird. But I mean, laughing at them regardless. That's a bit of a dick move. Ace with Douglas in the name. Once Fergalicious was playing and I picked up the phone, said Dougalicious, and just hung up. I asked a customer if he was done and if he had any plates what he wanted me to take. He said no, and I took them anyway. And to the fork out of his hand! Why? Like, did you, did she misunderstand what he said and only like later on realized what he had said? In that case, I guess it makes sense. But if you clearly understood him saying no, then why the hell would you take away his plate? Like, I don't know. If that was me and I still had something on my plate left, I would be pissed if there was still some food on my on my plate if there were still some fries left or something like that i would be pissed this is this is super weird like if you if she misunderstood okay but one time a guy if she didn't a plain that's biscuit. that's just plain rude and i couldn't find the button for it so i panicked and asked are you sure last week i was trying to man you <laughs> <laughs> the poor guy man he just wants a biscuit entering an item on till and instead of writing pies with a wait what i was trying to manually enter in an item bunch of s's i just wrote piss what last week i was trying to manually enter in an item on till oh new subscriber jhack thank you very much thank you okay let, let, let's start again Last week, I was trying to manually enter in an item on on 
till and instead of writing pies oh my big ass head is covering it up with a bunch of s's i just wrote piss what why and you can see what I'm typing on the customer's side. So the whole time when I was fixing it, everyone could see. Loudly crying face emoji. Like, she probably did it on accident, right? Last night I greeted a table and then proceeded to say, Did you want to, can, can I get start drinks? Tried to tell two guests enjoy and you guys have a good one at the same time and ended up saying, You guys could drive. I'm a cashier. Yeah, that happens happens to me as well sometimes it's like there's so much going on in your brain you just want to say a bunch of things at the same time and then they all come out at the same time you know it's like this not understandable gibberish yeah when i tried to scan a mop and accidentally hits my pregnant customer in the head wait 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 wait, wait. let let me let me do that again Chair and I tried to scan a mop and accidentally hit my pregnant customer in the head with it. She looked at me like uh, a customer. Well, as long as she, as she didn't get injured, that's that's okay. But damn, that could have gone way way worse. Like, where did you hit her in the head? the head okay well in the head is not great but it's probably better than hitting her in the stomach if she's pregnant like uh, a customer asked me do you have any pets but i thought she said do you have a pad and i responded any pets no but i have a tampon i worked at dead <laughs> oh no oh no the poor girl oh no Man, she was just, she was probably just trying to be helpful, you know? Oh man, that's so fucking awkward. That's so fucking awkward. I'd be so fucking embarrassed. That's just, that's just super unfortunate. Dairy Queen, and one time answered the phone saying, thank you for calling help. How can I dare you? The lady on the other side said, never mind, guy at my table. I mean... Now you don't have to help her anymore. That's a win to me. Bull once said, well, that'll be all, but I heard, you're tall, so I laughed. Said, yeah, I, I get that a lot. Once I got out a cake. Yeah, that's one of those that's a bit cringe, but whatever. You forget about it. If you are the customer, if you're the one that's saying it, this will probably be stuck to you for forever. For a customer and tried to tell her to freeze it until she needed it but accidentally said let's keep you in the freezer hey okay that's only a tiny bit creepy i fist bumped a guy once because i thought he wanted one but he was just putting change in the tip cup one oof oof but I mean, maybe he could, he could have taken it as you giving him a fist bump because you're putting money in the tip jar. Could, could be worse, but it's still embarrassing. So I put a customer's card in their mouth. Oh, wait, w wait. Once I put a customer's card in their mouth. Yo, we need some context in here. What do you mean you put a customer's card in their mouth? How? Like, what's the backstory behind here? What's what's going on? In their mouth. Oh, they've been sorting things with their hands. They put their card in the mouth and gestured for me to take it, tap it, and pay for them. So I did all that, and his hands were now free. But book I got it from his mouth, I on instinct put it back in. Mortifying. Once Okay, I guess I can understand the context now. But that's still super fucking weird. 
Time I was telling a customer where the bathroom was. Instead of saying, oh, it's past the fish tank to the left, I stared at him and I said, the fish. A customer asked me where the... Okay, the fish. Now you know. The bathroom was, and I tried to say, well, in the back corner, and you'll find it. But I just said, I'll find you in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious and creepy at the same time. <laughs> I'll find you in the corner. One time I okay. was a buggy, I blanked and just said, Do you need a. Uh, and for Hen just mimed pushing a buggy. Oh, sorry, do you need the old. Uh... Instead of saying Edward will be your server, I said Edward will be your Sedward. I was trying. Ed. Edward will be your said word. That's kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Edward will be your said word. Your said word. I was trying to remember that I need to grab cucumber and a customer was in my way. I said, excucumber. Went to tell a customer we're fundraising for nah. breast cancer. Looked him straight in the eye and said, we're breast raising. Neutral. <coughs> face emoji once i stumbled over my own words and combined ketchup and mustard into one word to make cum turd oh no oh no that word sounds horrible oh no i have never heard that word before and i don't ever want to hear it again what the yeah oh no, I don't like it. I don't like it. The guy looked horrified. Yeah. I wonder why. I wonder why. Bro, just imagine. Oh, there, there are your fries. I put some cum turd on it. You fucking what? I'm not sure I want my fries anymore. Bro, what the? I was handing a customer her change, which included a quarter with a bird on it. Very okay. confidently went, it's a grouse, nerd face, smiling face. She just went. Oh, I repeated it and she wasn't interested. Skull emoji. I mean. Like, it's great if you know what bird it is, but I wouldn't really give a fuck either. Like, I just want my spare change. I just want to go back. I just want to go back home. I just got done buying groceries. I don't care what kind of bird is on that coin. Uh, and then later I realized it was a turkey, so it was a double whammy. Oh my. <laughs> Once I was putting fr Oh my god. You had this awkward exchange, and it wasn't even worth it because it was wrong to begin with. Oh man. Oh, my throat is a little dry. Let me get some Coke Zero again. Mmm, nice. All right. Bro, it's almost been 20 minutes of the video and we're not even halfway through. I paused way too much. Eyes on a table and one of the customers reached for one and brushed my arm and I thought it was a bug, so I slapped his hand. Skull emoji, skull emoji. Yesterday, I asked a customer... That's awkward. ...his last but... name and... I can kind of understand. He spelled S-T-E-E-G. And I just looked at him and went, Steak. <laughs> I was working drive through Am I missing something? What's last name in his S-T-E-E-G. S -T -E -E -G. Steak? Steach? What? <laughs> I was working drive through and we have dog treats and I saw movement in the back, so I asked the person, Oh, your puppy like a treat? It was their kid. I work at... Oof. It's a cafe and there's a sandwich called Meatball Melt. Co-worker instead said to a customer, Here is your meat belt. One time over the drive through mic, my co-worker nah, loudly could screamed, be worse. I'm gonna shit my pants! Not... Oh, 
Okay. Knowing her mic was on and the customer drove away. One time someone ordered a sandwich and I asked them what they wanted to name it instead of what their name was for the order and I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I am just imagining how this must be like. What? We just want to order a sandwich because you're fucking hungry. And she just goes, Yo, this sandwich you order, what do you want to name it? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh man that oh man that that was good that was a good one that was i think that that's my favorite one so far started crying once at work i answered the phone with have a good one and immediately hung up i got a call <laughs> yo this is what i would have liked to do or what i would have liked to done back then when I was taking those calls during my apprenticeship, just picking up, hi, have a good day, and just put the phone down again. Like, don't fucking talk to me. Have a good day, but leave me alone, please. For a job interview, and the boss asked me what I was doing right now, you know, for work, and I said, now nothing, just hanging out at home. I used to sell. I had something like that, not in a in a in a job interview, but this was like school final year of school and like our written exams were over and we had still our oral exams left and basically you had to do at least one oral exam you could choose the subject you wanted but you were obligated to do at least one you could do multiples and in different subjects, but you had to do one oral exam on a specific topic. So I chose my topic, did all the stuff, blah, 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 finished it up, got my decent grade, uh, secured my, my B in that subject. Cause I was like between a B and C, but I was able to secure my B, um, because of that. And then the, um, the teacher afterwards after it was all done he was he asked me like what are you going to do next and i'm like um like right now or what and he's like yeah 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 i'm like i don't fucking know i'm go gonna go to the gym and i'm gonna go home and play some games i guess and he just started laughing like oh no that's not what i meant i meant like now that you're done with school like what are you going to do afterwards like, bro, f how the fuck am I supposed to know that? You said right now, I asked right now, and you said yes. So I told you, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to ho go home and play some video games. Lottery tickets next to where the cigarettes are sold, and multiple times I said, best of luck, after selling 20 Marlboro Reds. I gave a customer a sample once and meant to say, do you want that one, or did you like it? And I said, yeah, you like that? As a door... <laughs> door to door solar salesman, I lead a... Solar sal salesman. Okay. Although at an open door with your son gets a lot of roof and he said, nice try, buddy. Close the door. Oof. Oh. That is pain. That is just super awkward. One time as a server, I was bringing out a pizza. As it started to slide off the tray, I tried catching it with my foot instead of tilting the tray. When I was a what? waitress, someone asked me what the dessert options were, and I meant to say chocolate fudge cake, but instead said fucklet chodge cake. <laughs> Fa fucklet chodge cake. I'm sold, man. I'm sold. I'm gonna buy that shit up. I wanted to uh, die. A yeah, I can imagine. Demer said, I need a few minutes to look at the menu. I tried to say, oh, it's okay, to take your time. And it came out okay. as, it's time. We're not oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.
Wait, let me get off the out of the way quick. It's time. Ah, oh, you can see it anyway. Oh my god, that is so bad. That is so bad. <laughs> Bro, you took way too long. It's time. Go and order something or get the fuck out. It's time. Oh man. How I don't know if you can recover from that. When I was a server, I had a lady with a baby she was calling Ellie. And I said, oh, hey, that's my sister's dog's name. And she reported me to MGMT. Genuinely took me way What? Too long to realize that's supposed to be management. I forgot. Wait, what? You did not realize that? What? The name of cocktail sauce. So I just stared at my table while doing the Italian hand thing, a pinched fingers emoji, and asked if anybody wanted the sauce. Once I was. That must have been loose pants, quite like, weird. So dropped a customer's card and tried to press it against my body to catch it, but it slipped into my pants. One time I oh, no. a customer, do you want your bath bomb in a bag? But it came out, do you want a bath? And he very politely said, no. One. I mean, at least you didn't ask him if he wants to take a bath. That would have probably sounded even worse. In time, when I was on register, I asked an older lady how she was paying. She said, cash. And I said, baller. Yeah. And she just sort of what? stared at me. I once did the closing announcement. Yeah, I would have stared at you too. What? Asda. Your Asda store is closing in now. One time I went to use the intercom to make an announcement and said, welcome to... Wait, no, no, never mind. Tried to make a quick announcement <laughs> while mid-conversation and accidentally just said, oh no! Uh, over the PA to all four concourses. Oh god, well at least it's only a shop, so customers thinking what's the worst that could have possibly happened? Of the airport. Oh, oh no. That's a long day. Oof. I was doing the closing announcement and accidentally knocked the mic over. All you could hear was shush your suck, shush sajin, such such sajin, her such shush, and me repeatedly cursing. One night I was making the closing <laughs> announcement at work and I said, Attention, customers! I will. Well, we will. A shit and just hung up. One time I turned my headset on and instead of greeting the customer, I said, Nut tap. I don't know. Why? Why would you say that? How I got there. One time a customer was yelling at me over the phone and he said, shove a pizza up your ass. And I accidentally said, oh, okay. I was. I mean, with some of those customers, you. Sometimes you can't really do anything about them. Trying to tell a customer that the register was somewhere else, but I kind of just oh I'll be uh, 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 was pointing my co-worker serving pipe. Mate, are, are you okay? Let's not forget though, the customers don't help. One time when I worked at Taco Bell, I asked the customer if they wanted a hard or soft taco, and they replied with what's different? When I worked in Mac Gee, I wonder what's the difference between a hard and soft taco. Keys. An old lady came in and asked for a fillet of shit, followed by. I I don't know why I said that. One. Wait, the the lady said that. I mean, the name fits the burger quite well, in my opinion. Goodbye. I don't know why I said that. One time I was seating a table when little girl came up to me and said she had a present for me. Then Spitter chewed gum in my hand. What the fuck? Yo, I would have beaten up that little girl. Fuck them. What the... Work at a zoo gift shop. I was alone in a pop up shop, uh, just reading my Kindle. And a grandma popped her head in and went Wah! and walked out. No, when I was what? on cashier, I asked anything else, and one dude did the two fingers touching emoji pose and what? went, Can 
Wait, oh, this is a job for a character we haven't seen in a while. Oh, and no. Ooh, ooh, I have to read out. It's ooh, ooh, Jason Statham. Can I please get a root beer? I work oh, at an no. Asian and I got a DoorDash order, and they said, No veggies, please. I will die only to order steamed veggies. I asked this lady. What was the plan here? To just. So you just want to eat air then. Bro, people, people are weird. What drinks you wanted, and she said, I don't know, purple, and sat there silently. I used to work at Jamba Juice. I'm trying to think, like, what kind of drinks are purple? I mean, it could have just been a brain fart on her, on her side, but are there, like, purple drinks? Like, maybe grape juice, perhaps? But apart from that, I can't really think of any purple drinks, to be honest. And I needed this lady's ID for a membership. She pulled out a pocket-sized picture of Jesus. I was cashing. Yo, it's Moist Critical. Lady out, and she dug through her purse looking for a wallet, then pulled out a chicken leg in a Ziploc bag for me to... A chicken... No, 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 no. Let me go back. Let me go back. Lady out, and she dug through her purse looking for a wallet, then pulled out a chicken leg in a Ziploc bag for me to throw away for her. I... Bro, what? Why do you have that on you? Um... What the fuck? Once went up to McDonald's early in the morning and asked, Can I have a please burger cheese? Once I met a subway. Must have been very early in the morning. I, I kept asking for a six inch foot long and I kept repeating it until I figured out what I was saying. What? Bro, what? Once I ordered a lemonade at a arrest your aunt. And when the waiter asked, well, strawberry okay. or regular, I confidently responded, lemonade. I walked into a... There's one... I, I remembered one story I had. This also, like, fits into this category. When I was at a McDonald's, but I was like, I don't know how long, probably like 10 years ago, almost by now. So we went in there with my, I think my dad and like two of my cousins, if I remember properly. Anyway, you do as you do at McDonald's, you eat your stuff, etc. blah, blah, blah. And then afterwards, I wanted to get like ice cream. Like these, you, have, you know, these, these, these sundaes that they, that they have, like with either chocolate or caramel sauce, whatever. Um, they for whatever reason did not have those they did not have chocolate or caramel like it's normally like like these these white ice cream soft i serve ice cream things with like the the chocolate and caramel syrup on top for whatever reason they did not have those but they had like a, a special so it was either cherry flavor so like cherry syrup or banana which already sounds kind of weird because chocolate and caramel just sound so much better why would you replace them even if it's only limited anyway um i didn't know that only after i ordered did i realize that and the cashier she told me we don't have chocolate or caramel we only have um cherry or banana because it's like a special limited offering or whatever it was okay do you want cherry or banana now i like bananas so i went um okay i'll go with banana and she goes 
we don't have banana anymore. Like she full on dead ass looked me in the face, asked, bro, what do you want? Cherry or banana? I said banana and she just answered, we don't have banana. Like, bro, why the fuck would you ask me that in the, in the first place? If you don't have banana, why are you offering me? Do you want banana? It was so awkward. Like originally I wanted either chocolate or caramel. They did not have that. Then I wanted banana. They did not have that. So I got the cherry reluctantly, which was fucking dog shit. It's just super fucking sweet with tons of sugar. And I was just sitting there eating my ice cream and it was just so weird. Like, why are you asking me if I want banana? If you don't have banana, it was, it was such a weird exchange. Or while taking a sip of my drink and one of the ladies said hello, I just... <laughs> a friend who is from Florida said that when he worked at Taco Bell, someone threw a baby alligator through the drive through window. What? Then came in asking for it back. Like, was he planning to steal something or what like this seems like the setup for like a robbery or something but regardless you're a piece of shit for like throwing that poor animal like come on i mean it's an alligator they can be hella dangerous yeah but come on man the poor animal i walked into a store while taking a sip of my drink and when the lady said hello i just Oh no. Oh! The poor microphone. What the fuck, man? That was a really good video. Like, that has got to be one of my favorites so far. That was a really good recommendation. Thank you for that recommendation. That was really good. Um, Since there is a part. Wait, my face. I got rid of my face instead of the comment. Crap. Um, since there seems to be a second part of that, I would like to react to that as well. That was pretty damn good. The video is like, what, 10 minutes and the reaction was like 40 minutes. So yeah, I paused quite a lot, but I did enjoy it also quite a lot. Um, if you guys did enjoy it as well, I would appreciate it if you tune in to the next video. If you have suggestions um, for me to react to, leave them in the comments. And like I said, original video is in the description. Show him some love because that was pretty good. He has tons of great videos. Matt Rose really does some solid stuff. Um, Yeah, I can't really think of anything else to say. I mean, the video is, is, is long enough. Thank you for watching, and I hope I will see you next time. Bye.